dear all welcome back to edox today in this video we are going to see how to do an electrical working drawing let me show you an example of set of projects so the project which we are going to see is still plus two floors it's a duplex house so let me explain you the basic floor plans so in a ground floor uh, we have car parking and a servant quarters a hall and a room with an attached toilet and at the first floor the actual flat starts at the first floor so at the first floor we have living kitchen and dining and in the front portion we have bed with an attached toilet and in the second floor we have family room on both sides we have two bedrooms so on terrace you have only the headrooms so now we are going to see how to do an electrical layout for this floor plan so for any electrical working drawing the first thing you need to see is you have to look for the electrical symbols assigned for this so each architect or a drafter will have his own template so here uh, you can see the electrical symbols so the fan will be marked this way and the tube lights switch boards television points chandelier ceiling lights spot lights and 15 amps then 5 amps and you have uh, 20 amps for ac wall mounted lights then the distribution board and commodore lights then the wall lights and below that you have an uh, note a common note which will show you the uh, the points where it has to be marked so the electrical points will be mentioned as like uh, all light point should be fixed above lintel and all switch boards should be 4 feet 6 inches from the finished floor level and the tv points should be 2 feet 6 inches from the finished floor level as well the geyser point from the ceiling should be 2 feet 0 inches and from its plumbing side it is 1 feet 6 inches these notes are in common this will be given in the working drawing itself So now we are looking at the still come ground floor plan. So at the common hall, you can very well see that the common hall lights are marked over the pillars, and in the sit back, you can see the motor room, which has a 15 amps switch, 15 amps socket mentioned there. And in the car parking, you will have to provide a fan point, which has to be centered for in between the beams. and on both sides you have to give one ceiling light for the car parkings as well in the wall you can provide tube lights also so the switch boards will be usually given in the wall side so the switch boards are marked here and in the entrance over the main door you have a wall mounted light facing the outer wall and getting inside uh, for the flats Uh, each main doors right you have a uh, calling bell points which will be marked and in the staircases you can see the two way switch board and below the staircases flight you can see a uh, electrical panel boards and you will have a uh, eb ducts too along the uh, main staircase wall and getting into the uh, flat for the living room it is usually uh, one fan points at the center and you have two wall mounted light so either it will be used for the decorative purpose or sometimes it will be used for having a, a, a night lamps and in the opposite sides also you can have one tube lights and as well uh, nowadays the ac points are provided in the hall too so here you can see the 20 amps ac points usually the switch boards should be marked next to the entrance next to the door this will be convenient for the people to walk into the room by accessing the switch boards and for the bedrooms the same way while marking the fan points for the bedrooms you have to consider the loft dimensions you have to consider the loft locations after leaving the spaces for the loft you have to center your fan so that the air circulation will be throw the room and the same way like our hall in the bedrooms also we have two wall mounted lights and one tube lights and ac points is also marked 
as well you have 15 amp socket for a study table or any other purposes and getting into the toilets you have a wall mounted light and you have a geyser point and coming to the first floor the same way uh, the toilets are marked with internal lights internal wall mounted lights as well as points for the geyser and in the bedroom it is typical one like you have two wall mounted lights and if the bedroom is larger then you need to provide two tube lights here the dimension of the this bedroom is almost 18 feet 6 inches so we have provided tube lights on both the walls and the same way the fan points also we have marked two fan points covering the entire room and about the balconies in the balcony based on your uh, elevation purpose or for the decorative or for the aesthetics you can have a ceiling light or a wall mounted light so the main living room will have two fan points with a central chandelier light and you have switch board access to and in the dining you have a, you have to provide sockets for the fridge and uh, ac provisions also and uh, if it is a service balcony you need to provide 15 amp socket for washing machine points and especially in a kitchen you need to provide additional sockets for micro oven or any other purposes a micro oven mixer or a table top grinders so you need to provide extra points in the kitchens and in the terrace floor you need to provide an external wall mounted light covering your terrace area so these are all about the uh, electrical working drawing uh, this is for one small project let me show you an apartment project uh, which has still plus four floors yeah so now we are going to see an electrical working drawing for this still plus four floors apartment so now uh, we are looking at the still floor drawing whenever you are doing an still to floor electrical drawing first thing is you need to mark the beam layouts so that it will this beam layout will help you to mark your tube light points easily so wherever car parking is provided you need to provide a tube light points and in the sunken area you you have to be very careful and provide your tube lights not in the sunken area and now uh, let me show you the other floor plans for your uh, views as i mentioned earlier before reading an electrical working drawing first you have to look in for the legends whatever they have given and uh, these are about the first floor so the flats the electrical layout for the flats will be as typical as this few more drawings for your views
and in some cases the points are e- even connected to the switchboards also so you can very well see those markings in this drawing that's all for this video session thank you